What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to Immodernation. And this is part two of the Bubble Wall PC work vlog. If you guys haven't seen part one, make sure you watch it by clicking on the card in the upper right corner. So in the first part, we got to see the construction of the window itself and tested out some of the new motors that I received. Or I shouldn't say motors, I should say pumps. It's really a motor attached to a pumping system. So it's a pump. It's a motor, a pump, it's a pump. In this video, you're gonna see how I began to assemble the columns inside of the bubble wall PC. I'm gonna run into some issues with leaking and we'll see how I solve those issues. Also, we're gonna be testing out the assembly of a pump with the tubing and the check valve into the column to make sure that we can produce bubbles. So yeah, without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy. Good morning. We are on day two of our vlog. I just checked the mail and I got another package. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and take a look. And then I'll go ahead and continue working on the tubes portion of the bubble wall PC. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. All right, the mail arrived today. Got a package here. Let's go ahead and open it up. I already opened it up, actually. Boom! What are these, you might ask? Them. These cost me a lot of money because express shipping is insane. These are check valves. And, oh. It was a check valve. So what is a check valve, may you ask? Well, you might notice it kind of looks like an arrow pointing in one direction, and you would be right. So check valves are allow uh, directional flow, which means that something is gonna go flow from one direction, but not the other direction. And why is this important? Well, when we're using these pumps to pump air, through water, as you saw in the previous demo, we don't want the water to flow back into the pump. Uh, a couple of things can happen. It could damage the pump. The pumps could start working ineffectively. Pumps could burn out, start a fire. The air flows through, but water does not flow back. All right, so last time in last vlog, we talked about these uh, tubes. They're square shaped tubes. These are going to be columns filled with water. They're about a foot long, uh, actually 13 inches. So they're just slightly longer than one foot. And, um, I had a couple extra pieces here. This one, uh, just kind of a short demo piece to work with. Um, I'm going to be sealing the bottom to prevent any water from leaking out because it's going to be a column filled with water. So I want to make sure that I can have a piece of acrylic attached to the bottom that's not going to leak out. Then I'm going to drill a hole through it and that's going to allow a tube to connect in here and to blow air through this column of water and it will create bubbles. So what we need to do is I'm going to use this as a test piece to figure out how I'm going to do all this and make it work. All right, because I'm going to be doing some drilling, I want to replace this surface um, with something that's not going to damage the table. So I got a piece of MDF. We have our test piece. This is a one inch by one inch piece of, I believe that's 16th inch acrylic. I'm going to go ahead and drill into that. All right, in order to prepare this piece, we're going to draw a line corner to corner. So we can find the middle. All right, we got our hole there. All right, now we're moving up in size to a drill bit that's just slightly bigger. All right, so I had this new idea because I wasn't able to hold down the piece of plastic. Probably not the best way to do it, but it's how I'm gonna do it. All right, this time I got two clamps to hold this down. Uh, I know there's other ways that I could be doing this, but uh, this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, well, just shattered that one. All right, guys, this is attempt number two. I'm gonna try going a little bit slower. 
Didn't shatter this time, so that's good. All right, so the next goal of this, I've got uh, my cutout plate here, is to glue this barb. This is, again, a quarter inch to one eighth inch. There are some gaps in between here that I'm gonna need to fill with some sort of adhesive to make sure that everything stays. Okay, so first we're gonna start out with the side grip. That's this buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with this to fill it in. We'll use the polyacrylate to kind of fill in the gaps. Now be careful, it's got a sharp needle on it. I think what I'll start by doing is getting the outside here. So it forms a bond right here between this square piece and the uh, barb itself. So I'm gonna use the hot glue gun instead of super glue. All right, there it goes. So it kinda looks something like that. Build it in, not really concerned about the bottom because this is gonna be facing out and the top is gonna be facing in. We got our tube here. Make sure you go ahead and sand down each of these side so that they're flat. You don't need to see sanding. You know what sanding looks like. It makes this high-pitched squeaking noise. It's really annoying. I didn't want to put it on video. So we're gonna mount it like this. So hopefully, kind of like that with this pointing on the outside. Remember, it doesn't have to look good, it just has to work. This is our prototype. Once I figure out how I'm gonna actually put this thing together, it'll look much more aesthetically pleasing. All right, so we got everything set up. We've got our column, we've got the spout, this barb in place. I've got my check valve here, we got some tubes. We're gonna go ahead and connect this all together. All right, first thing we wanted to do was make sure our tube is connected to the spout. I don't know exactly what direction the check valve is supposed to go, so I'm gonna insert it this way with uh, the triangle facing outward. And then the final piece is of course gonna be the pump. For this next part, I'm gonna be filling the tube with distilled water. Hopefully there's no leaks. That's probably good. Doesn't need to be all the way. Remember that uh, air takes up space as well, so we don't wanna push the water out. Okay, it looks like we got a little bit of a leak and it looks like it's coming from underneath, so I'm gonna have to patch that. Got the battery pack, so go ahead and connect. All right, then the moment of truth. Well, there it is, it works. So there it is going pretty much full speed. I'm gonna have to turn down the the speed and that's where uh, something like a voltage controller, like a fan controller will come in handy. All right, hello. We are recording vlog number three and after I stopped recording yesterday, I was cutting out a bunch of these one inch by one inch acrylic pieces. So these one inch pieces are gonna be used for the bottom of each of the tubes. It's gonna hold the water in, but I need to drill a hole in each of them for the barb to fit in. So uh, let's get to that now. All right, so we're back and I've got my pieces here. There's a lot of them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover these in tape and then drill a hole through the middle. The reason why we're putting tape on here is so that when we drill, we don't crack the acrylic. Here's an example. So I left this one on, but when I drilled it, you see how it's got that crack right in there? Couldn't handle the pressure, too much pressure. So tape both sides, it's gonna make life easier. Also, we just have to remember to go a little bit slower. Now that we've got our tape on here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, draw an X, uh, just like we did before, put an X across here.
thank you so much for checking out this video and if you enjoyed it make sure you slap that like button below and share the video and while you're at it why not join the modern nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below and hey when you do don't forget to click on the bell icon inside the button to be notified the moment that I release new videos if you have any comments or questions be sure to leave them for me in the comment section below or why not hit me up on social media I'd love to hear from you guys and when you buy products from Amazon, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see ya!